You've thought about it. You've dreamed about it. Now, finally, here it is. The Robinson Knights' top plays of 2023. A year where they became back to back to back to back to back to back champions. And no, that isn't your record player skipping. The Robinson Knights just won their seventh straight state title. For our first highlight, let's go to a game played long, long ago in a land far, far away. This team first competed on a huge stage on the Nike campus in Oregon. It was the first ever Nike kickoff classic for flag football. It was played on Bo Jackson Field and it was televised nationally. Kate Robinson picked off a late pass by our rival Alonzo Ravens to seal the victory that day. It was an amazing experience for this team and a great way for us to start our journey. Now our first highlight from the actual season. Why not start with the human highlight reel that is Adriana Williams. In a game played against Pace up in Tallahassee, Adriana shows hitch, but then tears up field right past the defending corner. A perfectly delivered pass, and it's off to the races. That safety can't catch Audrey, 66 yards and six points earned for the Knights. Our second highlights, well, they're from the same game. Late in that game versus Pace, not once but twice, the Patriots drove the field and ended up just outside the goal on fourth down. First, they try their quarterback trying to run, but that was thwarted by Tammy Jerson and Kier Logan. On their second visit, they try a slant from the outside, but the coverage by Addie McDowell is too tight and the window is too small. Before our next highlight, we've got to review a low light. Senior corner and center Bella Rodriguez put it all on the line for the Knights. She's in perfect position to pull a flag, and she simply gets run over by a train. Sadly, the outcome of her playing her position perfectly was an injury that put her out for most of the season, but not quite the whole season. Still experiencing pain in her right leg, she returned to play in our postseason. And who is that catching the touchdown on the very last play of the very last game. It's the unstoppable Bella Rodriguez. Our next play comes from the battle to win the conference, which was hosted by the Bucks. We played on the same field where Tom Brady practiced. Our night quarterback, Hayden Spano, channels that goat energy and delivers a perfect pass to junior captain Manasvi Vijay Aragavan, who kindly informs the Braden River defenders, I'm better than you, I'm faster than you, and thanks for playing. Every single time Adriana touches the ball, it's a highlight about to happen. We chose this direct snap from our game versus Newsom. Audrey decides to bounce out to the right, but quickly then veers left. One knight and seven pursuer. She spins back again to her right, but no, back to her left. Their corner crashes to the ground. She takes out another wolf defender as she does. Here's a highlight from Jacksonville as we play the state semifinals. Watch artistry unfold, folks. A hard run post route, a perfect pass from Hayden, and a great back of the ball catch by the striding Kate Robinson. The Knights tack on another touchdown and would move on to the state finals. Speaking of the state finals, here we are the very next day. Hey, what's that on the sideline? A highly observant NFHS Network viewer saw Lauren Lonkaitis and some unnamed but undeniably handsome night staff member demonstrate choreography we haven't seen since the days of Bob Fosse. Some teams just fist bump. The Knights do everything just a little better. Now let's turn attention to play actually from the field. Let's see how things go for our opponents as they try to throw deep on two successive drives. On try number one, it's a stop and go from the outside, but Kate Robinson says, I'll take that, intercepts, and turns up field. On the very next drive, we see a great rush by senior Julia Guillermo and junior Tammy Jerson. That distressed Choctaw quarterback, oops, she did it again. She throws in the vicinity of Kate, always a recipe that doesn't bring success. Now later in the game, Choctaw again tries to throw deep. This time they test junior safety, Keir Logan. They execute, they go on the outside, and the ball is delivered on stride. But Kira goes up strong with both hands and denies the completion. 
It's as if she had the world's greatest safety coach expertly honing her skills and abilities so she can make plays like this. Now, just a couple plays later, and we see the same route. The only difference here is Kira's one-hand spike of the ball with great vengeance and furious anger. If we notice the corner on the right side, well, she's about to get beat. It's the tried and true, and sadly, soon to be missed, Spano to Kate TD completion. This is against our cross-town rivals, Plant. Hayden decides to see just how fast Kate is and puts a little extra oomph behind the pass. But Kate is up to the task. She reaches forward, snags it, and then stumbles and bumbles her way to the end zone. Newsom is one of the best programs in the country, and they tested us yet again this year. It's late, and we're up, but not by much. On the right side of this play, the Newsom Wolf will run a wheel route, but safety Kira Logan sniffs it out and breaks up the play. The deflection falls into the hands of Eddie McDowell, and the interception seals the night victory. Watch as Kira looks around for the ball and then discovers Addie has it. The play of the year last year was sophomore Manasvi VJ Aragavan sealing the state title game with an interception. The only difference in this year's play of the year is that she is now a junior. Oh, that and we're including two plays. The first play is our very first play of that state championship game. It's another perfectly executed play. Hayden hits Manasvi, who is ridiculously wide open on the vertical route. And just like that, the Knights' lead is 6 to nothing. Unfortunately, due to the rules of football, after we score, the opponents get the ball back. Manasvi corrects that travesty by intercepting their pass on the very next play. Unfortunately, there's also a rule about pitching the ball forward, and her legal pitch to Addie was seen by the official. Never worry, the Knights punched the ball into the end zone and got two scores early. These plays were obviously critical and vital to the Knights taking control early in our state championship game. A year that was not without challenges. A year that was full of excitement. A year where we saw these young ladies do so very much, so very well. It's a year that's worth remembering for these girls who worked so hard and performed so very highly. Congratulations to you all.